Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, I'm at Great Neck Park because it's nice out and there really aren't that many people here. Although you can hear the kids in the park screaming, shit like that, but that's all right. Gotta have some background noise, right? All right, so today is sort of a momentous day in that I have completely got myself caught up with my day job stuff and and other things uh, in this world as well. What do I mean by that? Well, since the company went through its realignment, which theoretically started April 1st, I told my boss that it was gonna take me four to five months before I was at a point where I was caught up and in my flow of getting things done. It's only been two months since that really started. April doesn't really count, but May and June were really the, the two months that have, have meant anything since the, the realignment. It was challenging to say the least. It, it's a lot of driving. Um, you know, I haven't been on the road for a year and a half, so getting back to that, it's been very challenging physically because my body can only take so much of being in one position for any length of time. So sitting in the car again for several hours, no bueno, body doesn't like it, but I'm making do. Okay, so with that said, I have now gotten all of my updates done. I have gotten all of my timesheets done. I have gotten all of my expense reports done. I have gotten all my emails that, for other projects and shit that, that have been thrown on us done. Everything's done. The only thing that I'm doing this week now is just sort of like that last little bit, the last little details that aren't required for the job, but I require them because they make my life easier because I'll be super uber organized and have everything that I need at my fingertips. Now you know why I haven't been posting videos. The past three weeks have been completely devoted to day job. Now that I'm caught up though, that shit ain't gonna keep going on. I have felt incredibly uncomfortable and stymied and, and sort of almost lost because I have not been able to create you know, anything. I have gone out to take pictures because that's necessary or I'll strangle people. And I have shot video pretty much every day, especially when I'm on the road, but I haven't done anything with it. In fact, I just realized today that I had, I had like almost three weeks worth of footage on this card that I never even took off the card. And normally I take stuff off every day. So I'm definitely behind the, the eight ball on that. Now, as far as gear goes, if you've watched any of my videos for any length of time, and you know me, you know that I am constantly saying, and that's it, I'm done. For the foreseeable future, I'm not getting anything else. And then, wow, that was ear piercing. And then like the next day I go out and buy a bunch of shit without getting into an, you know, like a two year timeline. Basically, I'm done. I now have what I consider to be perfect setups for anything that I could possibly do. I thought I was done and I was at the time, but then realized when this opportunity opened up and I was able to get the a7R4 and associated lenses and everything, that that took me into a half and half kind of a world and where I had half my gear was APS-C and the other half was full frame and I didn't like that. Here's what I've got now. I have the a7R4. I have the Sony 16 to 35 F4. I have the Sigma 24 to 70 F1.4. I have the Sigma 85 1.4 and I have a Sony 200 to 600. That's all the lenses that I need for my photography. There's really nothing else I need. I thought that maybe I would get a 35, but really I can plop this 20 on there or I can just use my 16 to 35 F4 and with settings, get shit the way that it needs to be. Still pictures, setup, done. Okay, then I got this A7C. Now I was really happy with my A6600s. In fact, I bought two of them because I was pretty happy with them. And then I ended up getting that A7R4 and moving back into full frame. And I thought, well, all right, I don't wanna be splitting systems up and trying to you keep track of lenses and all that. So I sold the A6600s and all the APS-C lenses and I got this A7C. I did get it with that 16 to 35, but that'll be more probably for the photography side of it. And if I need it, I can plop it on here. But I got the Sony 20 to 
20 millimeter 1.8, which is on here now, which is pretty much always the lens that's gonna live on this camera. And that's what I do any of my like filming with. I was using this as a vlog type camera just because I had just gotten it and I was testing it out and trying all these different lenses, but it is not going to be my run and gun vlog camera. That being said, I have a Sony ZV-1, which at the time I had thought that I was gonna get rid of it because I wasn't using it. And then I repurposed it and started using it as my overhead camera in my studio. And then I decided that, you know what? It's really an amazing camera. Maybe I should put it back into a run and gun setup. So I was going to do that and I started playing with it. And then when it all came down to it, I thought to myself, you know what? This really is an amazing camera. And, and I'll say it here, the Sony ZV-1 is an amazing camera. So I decided that I was going to take my original ZV-1 and build it into my studio Cinerig setup. So that's what I did. So my original ZV-1 is now permanently housed in, in my Cinerig in my studio. And that's where it's going to stay. And that I don't need to take that out. I don't need to take it apart. It stays there. I have it set up. Everything's set up completely to have that be the studio cam and everything is done and I've been shooting with it and it's fantastic. Then I decided that I wanted to still get another run and gun and I was able to pick up a second ZV-1 for over $250 off from Best Buy. So I bought the second ZV-1, got a cage for it, and I now have that set up on my Ulanzi battery grip setup thingy that I've showed you before. And that is now my run and gun pretty much everyday vlogging camera and I'm not hooking up an external mic to it. I'm just using the internal mic because it's that good. If I need to put a mic on it, I will use the Rode Wireless Go, which clearly I got back. Now they didn't send me back the one that I sent them. They must have just said the hell with it and they sent me a brand new one. So I got a brand new Rode Wireless Go and I'm perfectly happy with that. Now I also have my Sennheiser MKE 400, which I had gotten in the meantime when I first was ready to send this back to get fixed. And usually it stays on this A7C, but I'm playing with the uh, Rode Wireless Go because I really do like having this set up, it, it, which is why I was like, all right, if they don't do anything for me, I'm just gonna go buy another one anyways. And then I have the Insta360 ONE-R that I can use either for you know, some kind of vlogging or any kind of action-y type shit, although I haven't been very action-y. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I still have a GoPro, I still have the X3000, I've got my iPhones, you know, blah, blah, blah. But when it gets right down to it, the A7R 4 is for still pictures only, I don't do video on it. This A7C is for video, don't do anything else on that. I'm, although I could use it to take pictures with if I wanted to, but I don't see the need for it because I've got the A7R 4 And then I have two ZV-1s, one of them built into a Cinerig, in my studio, which is never gonna leave the studio. And then I have one built out as a run and gun vlog style camera. And I am done. Like I literally don't need anything else. In fact, I don't really even want anything else because I'm tired of, of paying for all this shit. <laughs> so I'm done. All the gear acquisition is done with the exception of maybe a, a, an accessory here or there, you know, a battery here, a battery there. I have my new, 2021 M1 iPad Pro 12.9 incher that I got. I have it with the magical keyboard. I'm reusing my Apple Pencil. I'm good to go there. My iMac is fine, knock on wood. My MacBook Pro, I really don't use because it had bulged out and it's annoying. And I decided to go with the iPad rather than getting another MacBook Pro because I'm a little bit more of an iPad guy. That's pretty much what I use constantly every day in various ways, so that's why I went with that. And then that's pretty much it. I honestly don't need anything else. I mean, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max that I picked up, you know, when I tried to switch to the 12 mini and just didn't care for it. So good on the phone, good on the computing, good on the photography, and good on the videography. I don't need anything else. If I haven't said that enough, and I'm committing to this, I don't need anything else. So. Everything from here on in is all about content. And I'm just gonna keep creating and trying to get back to maybe not daily posts, because I still don't think I'm gonna have time for that. But for the most part, I'll be able to do more than once every three weeks. How's that sound? And that's it. I just wanted to 
touch bases with you guys. Thank you for being patient with me because I know I haven't posted. So I sort of went from every day almost since the beginning of the year and most of last year to like nothing and a video a month or something like that. And, and that just bothers me. I don't like that. So I'm going to start cranking more out for you guys and for me. We'll, we'll get back and, and get things going again. So that's all I've got for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.